Hello everyone, I'm just back from watching uh, the new film, The Woman in Black, and I decided to make a video about it because I think it's a more important film than we realise right now, well, than you realise, because I kind of realised it while watching it. When I first uh, heard of this film, two things kind of intrigued me about it. One, Daniel Radcliffe was in it, and as a Harry Potter fan I was eager to see what he did outside Harry Potter. Two, it was a Hammer Horror film. Now, I've never seen a Hammer Horror film before, but I hear there's a doc there was a documentary on the BBC last year, I think, maybe two years ago, uh, where Mark Gatiss did a three-part documentary on horror films. And one of these episodes was on Hammer Horror, and he did it like on Dracula and Frankenstein, the mummy and stuff like that. And I was just thinking, these are brilliant. This is the kind of films I'd want to see, and actually haven't seen any of them yet. But this would be the first film Hammer Horror did in a long time. I think I looked it up, and they'd done like three or four films in the last few years as well. But this is their first big one, I'd say anyway. The film itself is brilliant. It's properly scary, and um, you know, dark gothic type. Victorian stuff like that. like it's old fashioned horror. This is what made it stand out for me is the old fashioned horrorness of it. Because you don't get a lot of old fashioned horror these days. It's all, you know, found footage films, paranormal activity, saw, stuff like that. Now, I am a fan of the paranormal activity films. I really like them. I think they're a really good idea. But the it's it's the ghost story. You know? Paranormal Activity is like a ghost story that happens today and you know, it's found footage so you know the camera is part of the story and stuff. Kind of old fashioned ghost stories where when it's just one fella and bad stuff happens and it's genuinely scary. Like The direction of this film is brilliant, it's all dark, moody, you know there's a lot of... It's the same kind of thing as Paranormal Activity does where it's, it's really really quiet for one. There's massive stretches of the film with no dialogue which is always what makes it different which is also what makes it different from a lot of films these days because in a lot of films there's talking all the time things keep moving, there's either talking or an explosion but you know there wasn't there was just a lot of scenes, there's like 20 minutes with no talking at all there was a lot of scenes with no talking is, is my point and there's like big stretches where he was just wandering around the house the main character and just worked because you were watching it. I don't know why it was just filmed so well and acted so well. But really, the most important thing here is that it made a ton of money. Now, you can go on all you want about artistic things and how film shouldn't be there to make money. You can say all you want, but that's what it's there for. It's there to make money. This film made loads of money, probably because Daniel Radcliffe's in it. Now, that means that there will be more Hammer Horror films, and I'd love to see more of this type of thing. Haunted House, Ghosts, you know. I'd like to see a really dark one with like devil worship stuff, all like taking place in the English countryside, that kind of thing. I'd love to see that. So really, my entire point about why The Woman in Black is more important than you might think it was, is simply because it's starting a revival of Hammer Horror with all the money it made. The film itself is really good, and if this Hammer Horror is successful, the new Hammer Horror is successful, I'd love, it could revolutionise horror in general. You know, we could see more, less, you know, painting the walls of blood type horror, which I don't find particularly scary. And more, you know, stuff in the dark. Stuff that's genuinely scary. Like, the film plays on primal fears, you know, it's about children dying. It, it's your offspring dying and you can't do anything about it. That's that's a really scary thought. And um, not being a parent, I wouldn't actually know. But the closest I can come to is, if my werewolf toy was about to die and I couldn't do anything about it, that would probably be the closest I could get to it. This is a really cool toy. He actually looks like the wolf, and the werewolf in the werewolves in Skyrim. Actually, he does. In conclusion, the film will revolutionise the horror industry, hopefully, and let them make good films. You know, 
ones that are genuinely scary because this one was actually properly scary thanks for watching there's links below to tumblr and twitter and my original youtube channel and well, i don't know some other stuff but um yeah subscribe if you want to hear more about my thoughts on things next time probably reply girls are they smarter than we give them credit for